In this video, we will demonstrate how to focus the laser on sample surfaces for optical imaging and profiling. First, let's power on the control board. This will turn on the laser. Let's load a sample. Take some tweezers and grab, in this case, the DVD track sample and load it onto the sample stage. Now let's load the AFM head, but make sure there's enough space between the read lens and the sample. Okay, if you haven't done so already, open the control app and let's select the USB sound option. Before continuing to the next step, let's make sure the autofocus switch is turned off. Now let's adjust the distance between the lens and sample. Let's approach by turning counterclockwise. The optimal focus distance is about 1.8 millimeters. It'll take some practice to achieve this distance. Once we're almost there, the monitor amplitude signal will change. For optical profiling mode, it's okay to simply set the signal amplitude at either limit. But just for fun, we're going to try to set the signal amplitude somewhere in the middle between the two extremes. Okay, now we're ready. Let's turn on the autofocus by flipping the switch to the left side in this example. You'll see that the signal is now very sensitive to changes in the Z direction. Try tapping on the desk. See all those spikes? Now we're ready to start scanning at the optical diffraction limit. Have fun!